are here for is to be first to human. You have great ideas. You need teammates. You need people to collaborate with you. You need people to agree with you, but also to think critically to help you make decisions. Our goal with the client should be consistent. We want to move their molecule as fast as possible down the pipeline. There has to be a mutual trust. You know, let's get to know each other. Let's understand your situation and how we can help. Curia can take a company from an idea all the way through to a finished product ready to go in the patients. We now truly have end-to-end -end services from discovery all the way to feel finish. In the Bay Area for Curia, we focus on biologics, antibody discovery, engineering, characterization. We also have recombinant production capabilities, cell line development, and process development. Currently, we have four ways of discovering antibodies. Hybridoma is a great way to discover antibodies. Uh, it involves immunizing animals, recovering the B cells, and then performing a fusion between the B cell and a myeloma cell so that you can basically immortalize that B cell and it'll produce antibodies and we can then determine the sequence and, and so on. We have a very strong workflow here at Curia that enables us to have very high success in, in discovering antibodies to that approach. Over the years, we've probably run around 140 campaigns, 98% success rate in obtaining um, antibodies that bind the target and meet the client's goals. When do we really like to provide a phage display option or a yeast display? Display option. With all programs, we do want a very specific profile, but sometimes it's really that needle in the haystack and you have to dig and dig. And so face display can oftentimes help in such a situation. I really like pairing up yeast display when maybe we want to use sorting of the yeast to get to a really specific profile early on. You can combine yeast display with face display. Uh, phage display with hybridoma, and we have these, we have multiple teams to pair up those capabilities and run them in parallel. And then there's the new single B-cell antibody discovery opportunities that we have. Single B-cell technology, it's like this bundle of new technologies, starting with the opto-electro positioning. It takes advantage of single cell transcriptomics. It takes advantage of next generation sequencing. You can basically do an experiment at the single cell level instead of, you know, waiting for cells to proliferate to get to a certain amount of time where they produce enough antibody, this technology takes advantage of these nanofluidic silicon chips, tens of thousands of nanopens. The technology will put one cell into each pen and you can do um, experiments on each individual cell. So if you're interested in, in speed of getting antibody sequences, it'll shorten our timeline from months for the hybridoma technology and the single B cell cloning platform will take days to weeks because of the short timelines. We consider it a first in human enabling technology. Once we discover antibodies, then those move to other areas of Curia for further development. And our GTP group, we specialize in high throughput and large scale mammalian productions of biologics, including antibody, bispecifics, FC fusion, and therapeutic proteins. We use 2Natro as our preferred expression system. We love it. We've convinced all our clients to switch from standard HEC293 cells over to the 2Natro. We started the platform about 10 years ago. A lot of effort has been made into understanding the performance of the cell line. We have made multiple optimization in increase the transfection efficiency, improve the yield, optimize the feed component, and the duration of the transfection phase. Tuna Cho is scalable. We can express as little as 10 mils or less, or grow it in as large as 10 liters or above with consistent productivity. And depending on the starting material, the turnaround time would be three to six weeks. For a good behaving antibody, the titer can reach more than one gram per liter. When we get to more of a lead candidate that the client's ready to progress towards development and manufacturing, more of the activity shifts over to our Hayward facility to develop stable cell lines. Once the target is finalized, then the DNA information will be used to generate stable cell lines in our proprietary Cho GSN cell line. So the Cho GSN is derived from a Cho K1 parental cell line. It is able to provide us with 
high titer, high producing clones to produce your antibody consistently all the way to commercialization. Using the same troll platform from the transient production to the stable production have the advantage of higher transferability. There's post-translational modifications of proteins. You kind of want to stick with consistent cell hosts for consistent characteristics of your drug. Once we select a high-performing clone, uh, that cell line is then moved into upstream process development where a team then focuses on culture conditions that optimize the expression levels as well as the quality. At the same time, we also establish purification schemes to meet our clients' specifications. We want to be able to offer the best solutions that we can. In this position as a CDMO, you are challenged with many different molecules and that expertise really does come into play for each of our clients because we have worked with so many different proteins. Because of the diversity of projects that come through, I think we're in a unique situation where we've seen a lot of projects and we've had a lot of success and we can bring that you know, experience to bear on new projects and really uh, deliver for our clients. We do have and must have robust processes in place so that we can operate at a high volume and can continuously deliver to our clients. To do that well year after year, it also does involve thinking about, as scientists, you know, what's another way we could do that better? Coming up with a new technology or workflow that we can incorporate, evolve, and then offer back to our clients and give them new technology access. Together, we'll get to the next stage of your program.